start with let's start with Contra. It must, I mean, the, the past three or four days are just so over the top hot that I guess that's what happens. So it was the stage two and of oh, it's two and five or two and four but we get the overhead stages. So we will start uh, top or uh, bottom one. The laser is definitely the best on top down, but and the objective of this fire room is you gotta blow up all these little bunker things. Yeah, five of them and then you go straight to the boss, which is always like a, a round thing.
Some publics. Oh, that does sound really good. Flamethrower is really good, but I don't know. Okay, that's fine. I wanted that fine. goes right through this guy's arm, which is pretty handy. The scary thing is when it starts spinning down for its death animation, if it grabs you, it'll flip you right to the bottom of the screen. Missiles that come out every now and then, but you can get rid of missiles. Like this. Slowdown from from the Super Nintendo makes it a little scary. Missiles are neat because they home in on the enemies, but uh, they're really weak. Get yeah, big skelly terminator guy. Now I like using the crash missiles, crash missiles, uh, because you can move at while you're moving. They still do damage because of the delayed explosion. So like hit and then you can move and it still. Hits.
back to just water. That's been feeling pretty good today. I just always have to have a ton of ice. Tempting to just go ahead and get like a really nice filter for the drinking water. I mean, shot for shot, the laser is the strongest, but... Spread, I think, overall, just has everything in mind. Like, the pilot shoots you off on a missile to get closer, but somehow is able to shoot, like, 10,000 other missiles. The middle missile is where you want to be, so you get a direct shot. Of the Mira's freaking out. I'm gonna let her outside. Twelve lives. The part where the bikes are passing you overhead at the beginning of that stage for some reason give you like a ridiculous amount of points, so you rack up extra lives pretty easily. Spiders and motion sickness is a pretty interesting combination for this part. Now all of these spin like crazy, but if you hold the L or R uh, shoulder button, uh, it freezes it in place. Uh, let's get the spin. I need one more. I think it's one more. There we go. Then we have like Cthulhu crazy box. 
So if you stay in that position, the spray takes care of like everything. Whoa. <laughs> That's it. Brings us to the last stage. boss which is the basically the space jockey from Alien. The laser comes out, jump over. It's almost like a face hover with the space jockey. Like this Bahamut looking thing. Yeah, crash. Uh, wrecks this guy. And then when you do enough damage, it just starts teleporting all over the place. You move down, and shoot at his nose. Crash missile, crash missile does it in like four cycles. I uh, don't remember what this power up is. Flame. Uh, all right. Now you get the weird brain boss, and depending on what you shoot, he gets like a different gimmick. Basically, like, if you don't kill him, he's not close anyone anyway. And then this, just random crap flies everywhere. <laughs> well, that's Super Contra. <laughs> Hope that 15 minutes was entertaining. I'm gonna move on to the next game. Played on hard, uh, the brain like it turns into a monster and it catches up to you and you just shoot down and it dies. That's pretty much the only difference from hard and the other difficulty levels. 
Now I wish there was a hotkey, like if you hit all the buttons it would reset it, but I gotta manually reset it up front. Super punch out? Yeah, that's fine. I did this like a couple months ago, but definitely, yeah, we could do this real quick. Which one, John, was it the one you had trouble on? Was it Hoy Carlo? I don't know if it was him or the Bruisers. that he has for Chester. Oh. 
And then on the third one, he's gonna charge at me. He does the short two, charge there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Fight! Boom. Knockout! Beat the K! Right on! Bum 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 bum. All right, second cup or circuit. <coughs> Bob Charlie. Ooh 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 ooh. Fight. I like how he, like, if he doesn't get up all the way, how he does that. That collapse animation. Nice how much damage he takes from gut shots. Ah, uh, mass muscle. Mira. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh yeah, three times, because he's been knocked down twice. World Circuit. Keep saying cup. Boom, bum, bum, boom, bum, bum. Aaron Ryan. Fight. Dog to the left. Fight! 
I just get like ridiculously bloodshot when you stun him. Pretty happy with the Nail Nail Do Starness they announced uh, for Opus 9's Biobox full art promo. I still think it's a pretty good fire card. In a non-controlled fire deck. Like one where you're just kinda of, it's kinda of something like mine. Like catering towards a deck that's kinda of like mine. It's kinda of happy to see that. Special circuit. Wrong way. Oh. 
Long way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fight. Knockout. Beat the cage. Look at those ice skates. He looks so disappointed when he gets knocked when he gets knocked down. Long done. Wanna get hit by that? Whoopsies. All right, one more. Knockout. You gotta go after the brother. Beat the cake. There you go. That is Super Buncho. I'll let the credits play for a bit while I check on this package I gotta send out, and then I think we're gonna do Star Fox after. So Star Fox in like two minutes. Come on, PA. Come on, PA. Come on, PA.
Oh, were they? Oh, that's pretty awesome. Thank you. Credits finish rolling, then we'll switch over. Alright, that one was just barely under a minute. That's the one. Piece of cake. Right on. Do any warps or the casino stage or anything like that? Just normal run. Good luck. This this intro sequence used to like blow us away. It just looked so advanced, or it looked like something that like could only be on like a PC or something. Especially since I had like actual dialogue, like someone talking. But eh, but eh, but eh, but eh. Why did these get a twin blaster? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, like, if, if you don't have Twin Blaster in this game, it, it really sucks. I would kill that one, but I know he wants it. There is a bomb hidden over there, but it's okay. By over there, I mean on the right of that uh, red rectangle. And it's pretty interesting because I don't know if it's interesting. But, I mean, I've played Star Fox so many times, and, I'll, and a lot of people who picked up their SNES classics and they're trying it for the first time, they're like, like literally, like, completely unplayable because the game runs at like 10 frames a second. But I hope that's how it's just always been. It's pretty used to it. Start with the right arm. You want to do it in one cycle, which I do. Okay. And then we'll go to the top left and then bottom left. Some of these stages you can go into like the gunner's perspective. I mean Star Fox is the pilot on the gunner, but you know, more of a first person.
can clear a whole panel off with one bomb. Shooting in the middle of all. Middle flies off, you fly away, go back in, and... Can upgrade the twin blaster to the uh, twin blaster to the plasma shots. Thank <laughs> you. 
game takes over and pilots you through and it always just seems crazy the concept to me. Things just pop up right in front of you, and it's easy to crash into them. Like, there's gonna be some pillars coming up here. It's just a blip. Yeah, you gotta let it, uh, you gotta do another cycle of like breaking the legs and then you can. Thank <laughs> you. 
Venom, but you start out in the um, like outer planetary defenses, and then you go down. Good luck. So we're gonna switch to this one. Bailing out, so you gotta go chase him. This is basically Tetris attacks. There is just like a bazillion blocks that just fly or come down.
guessing that their projectile shows up before the actual target does. Hang in there, SNES. Phase, which is kind of like what we just did earlier. And then he's going to do a pass, and then he's going to turn into a giant grasshopper, of all things. Final approach to uh, Andros. Uncle Andros! Friends is Star Fox for the Super Nintendo. SNES Classic, they were really pushing the, the fact that it came with Star Fox 2, but it's, it's a 
pretty bad game. They tried to push, uh, you know, several new features in it, but the game lags even worse than this one does, and I think it was just too much. Too many concepts, too many gimmicks and stuff. The name in my book. This part was awesome because they talk. Come in, Cornelia. This is Cornelia. Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger. I'm heading back to Cornelia. Card tool for a bit, and uh, I'll see what my next game is. here bum, 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 bum. all right let's switch to the next game all right what we got <laughs> Um... Thinking either Street Fighter 2 or, uh... Street Fighter 2 or Super Mario World. Anybody want to put their say in chat? Squadron. We just did Final Fight, except for like the other one. Uh, God, Ninja Gaiden sucks on the Super Nintendo. I don't know how they screwed up the port, but it's really bad. So. Um. Let's 
see. Actually, it's almost 2.30. Oh, let's do Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Maybe we'll do Super Mario World tomorrow. This was... I mean, normal Street Fighter 2 on, on the Super Nintendo was like such a, a huge deal um, when it came out originally, but this, the fact that you could uh, play as uh, the bosses and, you know, all that stuff, uh, you could not find this game. It was crazy. Especially like Blockbuster, it was always rented out. And we'll keep it pretty simple, we'll use Ryu. Um, that would be pretty sweet. Which reminds me, uh, Dan dropped off a game he borrowed from me yesterday, and then I was asking if we had an uh, NES or an extra SNES Classic. It may have been Fist of the North Star? Uh. But yeah, that NES has been cooking for about two years in there. As a uh, Me and Dan were having fun on Mortal Kombat 11 last night. After he did a, his D and D character, there we go. You win. Round two, fight. Harouken, 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 Harouken. I mean, we were playing against each other, but we were basically just showing off all the different characters, like fatalities and, uh... I forgot what they call them. The moves you do when you're, like, low on health. A lot of them are really funny. And Kayla kept complaining that they were gross, but would always rush to the TV whenever we were doing it so she could watch. But I've been putting a lot of time into it. I mean, I just finished the story today. Um, I've been practicing a lot with Jax. My, I kind of want to learn Katana. And maybe Shao Kahn. Bullying this poor AI with uh, spacing. Roundhouse, roundhouse, round. Now in the original, when you were busting up the car, after you took you took off the top layer, you couldn't use standing attacks to hurt it, hurt the rest of the car. So it took forever, because you had to like sweep it and do nonsense like that. And then they changed it for turbo. Boom, 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 boom. Not the head plate. He's just like walking right into them. You win. 
Is he dizzy? Is he? <laughs> oh my god, get off! <laughs> Dang it, Blanca. You win. USA. That is a guile. Round one, fight. Harouken. 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 Anik boom. Harouken. Harouken. Anik boom. Harouken. Anik boom. Harouken. Harouken. He's trying to flash kick frame through it. Oh, you punk. It's interesting seeing how small your characters are compared to like how it is now in like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter 4 and 5 and all that. Punch the mouth. Just takes and gets a dizzy. That little three hit combo, the jump in, cancel the fireball, or uh, cancel the uppercut. I mean, it was like half his life. You win. Zangief? Nope, can. That dizzy. It's the barrel. No. Gotta get them points. Saving Zangi for last. Round one, fight! Boot to the head. Then when you get to Zangi, if you just hold up and round roundhouse him, and how much does the trick? USSR. Round one, fight. You. Win. 
win. Round two, fight. And for some reason, they also recolored the inside of his mouth green. Like with his color, with his color swap. You win. I don't think the crowd was happy about that. So we move on to uh, Boxer or Balrog. USA. Balrog. Round one. We want to get him on the ground so that we can hurricane kick spam. Or else he gets really annoying like that. If you let him up and just go, he, he goes crazy. See what I mean? Like, what he's doing is impossible because you have to charge for that. A double dizzy in a row. I have to watch. I have to. You lose. I have to uh, rewatch that. Round three, fight. But yeah, like the stuff that AI Balrog does is like impossible. Surprised I play? Oh, I don't. Oh. You win. His best move is the headbutt. Like the throw, you can abuse it so badly in this game. Oh, I missed that one. We're gonna have a sad review after these barrels. Right. Vega, we want him to jump off the wall so that I can jump kick him and it'll put him into a loop. Jump off, we gotta force him to jump off the wall. There he goes. Nope. Like the AI doesn't know what to do. You win. Round two, fight. Can I make him jump off the wall? Come on, back up, back up. And this isn't like, I mean, this is like the weirdest stuff you find out dealing with the AI, but it's not from like looking it up online. I've been doing this since like 1993. It's just, you beat the game a million times, eventually you find little quirks like that. You win. Round two, fight. Ooh. Got Anna over the moon. 
Had to do a little RP there, finishing him with a Dragon Punch. Then Bison. Dude, people trying to beat this at the arcade back then? Impossible! No one's ever done it! He should jump at the beginning, so I'll do a jump kick. Nope, he didn't. Dizzy? Don't have time to- he will break out of that dizzy in like half a second, so you gotta just throw him. And I'm dizzy again. Look at this! Ch chain dizzies! Got him! And that is Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Which in the story of Shadow Lu conquering the world, they're standing on like a podium, like a, they're at the Olympics. Where's my silver medal? Final Fantasy Six speedrun. John, the fight is everything. Uh, I'll probably call it here, and then tomorrow we'll do like Super Mario World and come up with some other games. I don't know. But anywho, that was really fun. A bunch of other super nintendo games we can do or we could just add to the classic so uh thanks for watching and uh see you tomorrow probably at noon